Um, just let me introduce myself real briefly. My name is True Ajayi. I am the Outreach Coordinator for The Cream Incorporated. The Cream is a 501c3 organization that is geared towards the moral and economic edification of individuals that reside within urban communities. It is our philosophy that the addiction, violence, pain, and suffering that is present within the urban community are ramifications of financial illiteracy, lack of resources, and the knowledge, or part of the um, ignorance of not knowing how to come together and unify. Are all ramifications from us not doing for self and educating ourselves? So as an organization, we pride ourselves on taking ideas and manifesting them. Within the urban community, we're very creative. We are a people that created everything. If it wasn't for us, nothing would ever be. Blacks are the mothers and fathers of civilization. We understand that when we talk about the urban community, there are many different shades, but blacks are the majority in these areas. Um, so one thing that we pride ourselves on is taking ideas from A to Z. You want to start an LLC? We'll do it for free. You want to start a nonprofit? We'll do it for free. You have a website that needs some, you know, updating, and you want to compete with different people. We'll do that for free. Why? I talked to a state senator yesterday, all right, and he was talking real fast. And I had to slow him down, and I'm paraphrasing when I say this, but he said something along the lines of the amount of tax dollars that goes into Lansing from certain areas is how they determine how much money is put into roads, schools, and all of the above. So then I thought about it. Then we went further to look and see how liquor stores, and gas stations, and basically to sum it all up, the things that are present within our community don't really send the amount of tax dollars that stores like on the other side of Eight Mile Mile, or things of that nature. How you doing? So, so um, where was I? I'm sorry. What was I saying? There we go. So, the other businesses and things that are on the other side or in the suburban areas, they send more of a tax dollar to Lansing. So it's kind of safe to say, right, the less businesses that we have, the less organizations that we have, the less that we're able to show liquidity with our money and keep it within ourselves. They're not going to really focus on things that need to be focused on within our community. All right? And so I think it's kind of ideal to begin to just start businesses. Back in the day, it was kind of harder because you need the building, you need all types of licenses and permits. Today, all you need is a smartphone. You know? So that's what we pride ourselves on dealing with the urban community and empowering from an economic standpoint. We don't like to show our face in communities. I'm from Detroit, personally. And uh, we have three chapters in East or Michigan and Detroit. We don't like to come into communities and do anything new. We don't like to change the wheel. So it's this, our organization only works with you because we're not here to present something new because we love what's here. We want to embrace the struggle, right? Because struggle and adversity are natural consequences to life. Just ask the sister that had a baby right before the most beautiful thing in the world she could have ever heard coming to her. This is painful. And that's just like everything else, as above, so below. So the struggle and the hurt that we see within the urban community can definitely be limited in terms of limited. And so we don't want to come in and, uh, you know, change anyone's will or uh, create a new ideology or philosophy. We more so want to be the glue to bring people together. Um, so here's what I'm going to do today, all right? I'm going to try to steamroll some of these services. If you are here today and you have a business, you have an organization, you have an idea, now, if it takes too much time, we'll just get the information and we'll follow up. But it's some things I can answer. There's some things we can do right now to make you better, okay? And I want this to become infectious. 
I want you to leave here and tell your friend and bring them next time, all right? So we are gonna have a um, repetitious uh, presence here in the Civic Center starting around the middle of September. However, I'll come out here and do this as much as you guys want. I'm only here today because I was beat up and I told them that I would come out here and uh, none of them even showed up. So again, I appreciate you guys coming out. Now here's what I'm gonna do. Look at you guys, you guys. What's the dad doing? So your Insta chapter? Oh, no. So wait.